Oh. Clark tells me that we've got James Wilder Jr. on the phone line. Are you with us, James? Yes, I am. How you guys doing? Very, Very good, good, James. James. Good, good to, to talk, talk with, you. with you again. It's been a while since Grey Cup last year in Edmonton. Where are we hooking up with you today? <laughs> I'm actually I'm back in the states, man. I'm in California. L- lucky guy, lucky guy, James. We had the news Monday that you asked for your release from the Argos. It was granted. Do you know what your fu- football future is as we sit here today? Um, right now, man, I'm just uh, weighing, weighing out all the options. Uh, I'm going to try to knock out a few uh, NFL workouts, and if uh, that doesn't go as planned, I'll have a head start, a jump start at the uh, free agency. Can, can, we, can you take us through the last couple of years in your time with the Toronto Argonauts? Because it looked great, then it looked not so great. This year wasn't the year that you wanted. How's it look from your perspective? Yeah. Um, no, just, just, just like you said it, man. Um, you know, Toronto started off very great. Uh, you know, we won the Great Cup. It's just the year. Everything uh, went well. Uh, second year, you know, we had an injury to our um, quarterback. So we were a little shaken up, um, battled a lot of injuries. The season didn't go as well um, individually, um, probably not up to my standard, but still, you know, still, um, you know, still elite in the, in the CFL. Um, third year, not at all. Last third year, not at all, man, not to my standard, not to the team standard, um, not for the standard of the city. And, um, you know, it was a little frustrating um, mentally. Uh, that took a little toll on me throughout the season, but um, – yeah, I'm, I'm a free agent now, man. So hopefully to being able to, to uh, find that find that joy, find that love back, and, and, and get back to those 17-type years. There, there is some news on the O'Shea thing, and we'll get to that in a minute, but we got James Wilder Jr. on the line right now. Is there anything that you'd like to clarify, James, on how things went down this year? And obviously you're looking ahead, and I want to, too. I will right after this question. It was reported that they asked you to do some separate things, play on different, you know, special teams and stuff, and that you didn't want to do that. Was that accurately reported, or what's your side of that story? Uh, yeah, no, it was accurately uh, reported, but it, I mean, of course, some details were left off. Um, as you know, this season I broke broke my ribs. Uh, I got put on injured. Um, I, I got I got put on the injured list, the IR list. Uh, I felt that I could play still. Um, you know, I told him it's a real that, you know, pretty much break, uh, that, that I broke the last two years. It was just a, a light break, clean break. And, um, it's something that I, I thought I could play through. Uh, they felt like I couldn't play through it. Um, you know, I, it was a pretty frustrating. I was coming off the 200 yard games. I felt like I was starting to get my, uh, get my role going. Um, they, they decided to pinch me. Uh, I was a little frustrated with it. Uh, but I understood, but once the time starts to come, like three or four weeks later, I'm like, yo, what's going on? I'm just sitting unhealthy. Uh, and they was like, well, you you know, the Argos were just like, you can come back, but you can come back um, on special teams. And, um, you know, you can come back and play special the special teams role, not the running back role. And I was just like, well, I don't know if that would be, um, the, you know, the wisest thing to do coming off a of, you know, broken rib broken rib to be playing special teams. I mean, I can come back off a broken rib to play a little bit of running back and, um, you know, mix me in as, you know, as, as I thought it would be like. Uh, but they, you know, they told me they wanted me to come back and uh, play kickoff with us and all this other stuff. It just wasn't, um, I didn't think it was a wise thing to do. Sean, Sean Lemon's watching the program and has a question for you. Would you take a question from the Lemonator? Your boy's with him, right? Yeah, no, that's my brother, man. That's my big brother. Yeah. Um, I'll, his, I'll his, his, his question, James, is did you like playing for Jacques Chapdelaine and Coach Chame? No, I didn't. I didn't like it. Um, you know, they're, uh, you know, I don't know they're too much about their outside lives. I'm sure they're great men. Um, but, you know, as, as, as a football, football player, the football coach, it was pretty, pretty tough, man. Usually I've been playing for coaches. You have that connection. You'll be able to. You know, talk with coaches, make adjustments, uh, do whatever, you know, and uh, they'll adjust off you uh, or off the team to, to, to help the team where everybody's really comfortable out there on the field. Uh, it's been a few times where I've reached out to try to, you know, not for selfish reason, but just our team was losing. Um, our team was losing. I was just looking out to try to have player meetings, team meetings, uh, player coach meetings. I called for a few of those just to try to, you know, better the team, but we were just so disconnected with the coaches and the players, man, and, you know, a lot of people are still, most of our team is still contracted, but 90% of our locker room will tell you that. 
Oh. Clear, yeah, clearly uh, not on the same page. I mean, if they didn't when you're healthy, they didn't want you back as a running back. You know, I wouldn't feel, you know, on that same page either. So, you know, I'm with you uh, on that for sure. So you talk about NFL. Do you have any workouts planned? Uh, who are you going to visit? We're just, we're just waiting, waiting uh, for the phone. Work- yeah, no, we're waiting for the phone calls right now. Uh, there were talks, uh, nothing formally planned uh, when I was under contract getting getting the release uh, that they will be interested to work out um, a few teams, but uh, just about three teams, um, nothing formally yet, so we're really waiting on a phone call. Um, I stuffed out on Thanksgiving yesterday, but other than that, I've been standing in shape and, um, you know, waiting out that opportunity, being ready is, for the is, opportunity. Is, is the XFL an option for you, James? Um, the XFL, WWE, um, was a mixture option, so if I was to do XFL and WWE at the same time under Mr. Uh, McMahon, but uh, I missed the... Um, I missed the uh, window for that, so that will have to be uh, something that's later. Well, well, as a free agent, you can go anywhere you want. You're still a young guy and talented, so I don't think you're too concerned about your future. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we let you go, James, and enjoy California? No, man. I did always. It's been tough, man. I feel like I went through a breakup with the with the city of Toronto, with the fans, man. I just want to let all the fans know that I definitely love them, um, you know, Canada has been a great experience for me. Um, I didn't know anything about Canada. and Toronto embraced me and my family. Uh, they made it feel like home, and it was a place where I never wanted to leave. It's a place where I, you know, I wanted to take that pinball, that pinball role, and just be there forever, you know, and and then fall in love with the city and just, you know, move there full time, um, like I did with me and my family. Things didn't work out uh, as part of the business, but I wanted to let all the fans know in Toronto that they'll always have a special place in my um, special place in me and my family's heart. Very, Very classy, classy of you, James, and I know how much they loved you. I saw it firsthand at Touchdown Atlantic. So thanks for this. Good luck, and uh, keep in touch if you don't mind. Oh, most definitely, man. Thanks for having me on this morning. You're watching Rod Peterson On Demand. For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media.